Hello and welcome to Let's Have Retro Fun episode 10 with me Sam. Today we're going to have a look at some gameplay footage from The World Is Not Enough from the year 2000 and also a little bit of uh, footage from Goldeneye. Uh, the World Is Not Enough was EA's answer to Goldeneye really. They'd uh, attempted to make the... I can't even remember what uh, the sequel to Goldeneye was, or the follow-up to Goldeneye was, Tomorrow Never Dies. They tried to make a video game out of that, um, and it was a third-person game. I suppose it was a little bit fun, but nowhere near as... Uh, uh, everyone just wanted Goldeneye 2, basically, and it never occurred. So this was EA's effort. Uh, it's a very good game. You can, as you can see graphically, even with rose-tinted glasses on, it's a better-looking game than Goldeneye, really. Uh, all the, but Goldeneye just has that pacey feel to it. This game, there's just something about it. It's like a little bit lumbering. However, uh, it didn't stop uh, Eurocom. Yeah, it is. It was Eurocom uh, who made this game. They went on to make... I, I, I wouldn't quote me on this, but uh, I'm pretty sure they made Goldeneye Rogue Agent. Um, but I know that they did make the Goldeneye Reloaded that recently came out. But the world is not enough. Uh, this is actually multiplayer footage. I should uh, really put up some single player footage. Maybe I will do. I've, uh, I've only really just started getting into this recently. But it was uh, at the time I remember being very, very impressed with this game. As uh, as I was also with Blacklist or Black Soldier or something. I have no idea anyway. Well, that's it anyway. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Bye.